بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أحسن لكم الجماعة take the middle course أحسن لكم prefers and take makes takes preference in everything they do. Preferring the Quran, preferring the authentic Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and preferring the minhaj of the methodology of the Salaf and the Sunnah. Beginning with the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, رضي الله تعالى مجمعين. That's the methodology of the Salaf. That's what we refer to when we're talking about the methodology of the Salaf. And on the Sunnah, they reject terrorism. And they reject spreading facade around the earth, evil around the earth. Those people who are into suicide bombings, those people who plot and plan to cause harm and destruction around the earth. On the Sunnah rejects that in totality. From the earliest generations up until now, that being extreme has been re rejected in Islam. The Prophet ﷺ said, Beware of Gulu, beware of being extreme. Alayhi salatu wa salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the Prophet ﷺ will sin as a mercy to mankind. We weren't we, that you were sent as a mercy to all of mankind. So if we were to accept the minhaj or the methodology of the people of Tekfir, the people who are into suicide attacks and all of these other evil actions, how does that coincide with Islam? And how does that coincide with what the messenger, with what Allah said about the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? That he was sent as a mercy. There's no way you can combine mercy and blowing up people, blowing up the malls, suicide attacks killing people indiscriminately or in wanton violence, there's no way you can equate that to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, that he's a mercy to all of mankind. And we're ordered to follow his sunnah. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, alaykum bi sunnati. And upon you is my sunnah. Follow the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And leave what you embrace from foreign ideologies that lead to destruction. For example, those people who focus all of their energy on the leaders. In Islam, no, the leaders, as well as us, as the laymen, as lay, as lay persons, we also have many shortcomings. We also don't rule by the Sharia and rule by Allah's law and everything that we do. We make many mistakes. We all have many sins. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Adam khata'in All the children of Adam, they make mistakes. And the best of those who make mistakes are those who make tawbah, who make repentance. Now what better time is there to make repentance than this holy month of Ramadan? Coming back to Allah. Start fresh and clean as we see the beautiful river here. Fresh and clean. This water you can make wudu. You can drink from this water even. Bi'idhnillah ta'ala. Start off fresh and clean with Toba to Allah. But getting back to the subject at hand, we reject terrorism. And we, and we reject those foreign ideologies. And they're foreign to Islam. You don't find the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and those in the Tabi'in and Tabi'in, tabi upon that, upon rebellion and destruction. Those people who rebelled from before, they were either considered re re rebels, which was something sinful, or they were considered khawarij, meaning that they, they, it was a part of their aqidah and belief that the leader should be uh, destroyed for their mistakes or that for the major sins that the people had uh, embraced, that they uh, had, had uh, partaken in, that they became disbelievers. That's the myth of the khawarij. The Prophet ﷺ said about them, he said, al khawarij hum kilab al -nar. He said that the Fawarij, these people who make takfir for the major sins, they are the dogs of the hellfire. Wa'iyadu billah, min dalik, wa So this is why things like the Boston bombing, 
things like what has happened in the UK recently with the beheading of the, in, the soldier and these other wanton attacks uh, here and there and plots that the FBI and these other intelligence agencies set up, they encourage these things. But you give them the tools by being in Shubahat, by believing in false ideologies that are not substantiated by the Quran and the Sunnah and the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You give them the tools. You say, hey, please set me up. Please set me up and, and give me some false information or some false weapons or, or fake bullets or whatever to do this and that attack. You set them up. You set yourself up. Wa'iyadu billah. May Allah protect us from that. And may Allah protect the Muslims everywhere. So this is why it's important. If you embrace the madhab of Ahlul Sunnah by holding on to the Quran and holding on to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and holding on to the madhab of the Salaf of the Ummah, how they understood Islam, you'll be safe. You'll be safe from doubtful things. You won't get into those doubtful matters. Wow, is it permissible? Is this God or Haram or not? Should we steal or not? Come on, your fitra alone should tell you that these things are, 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 are uh, uh, these are complex issues to say the least. And you should not feel comfort if you are resorting to stealing from people, regardless of whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim. Stealing, cheating, lying, all uh, un-Islamic traits. So, how is that? The Prophet ﷺ said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَذْكُلُ فِي مَيْزَانَ مُقْلِمْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ الْخُلْ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِدُهُ الْفَاحِشَ الْبِلِيمِ He said that there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. And verily, Allah hates sinful and wicked speech. So that lets us know right there. Having good manners is lying, cheating, stealing, backbiting. Are those manners that are, uh, uh, from, are those from good manners? Praiseworthy attributes? In no culture you, you, you would find people agreeing to that. And saying, except for the Shia Rafida. Except for the Shia Rafida. You will find from them they believe that part of their religion is taqiyya, is lying, it's permissible to lie. And they use lying all the time in front of Ahl Sunnah and they deceive people and cause facade around the earth and kill and hurt Ahl Sunnah. But other than that, you won't find most of the nations don't agree with that. And Nikbaba Ola, or as a priority, or in the in the first more, moreover, you'll find that even more so, killing and wanton violence is not in accordance with Islam. Nor is that something praiseworthy. Nor is that something going to get you to paradise. If it's not done, if whatever actions you do, and that you want to be an act of ibadah, if it's not done with sincerity to Allah, and in accordance with how Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it, and the men that have the salaf, then it'll be rejected. Because the Prophet وسلم, said, Whoever innovates in this religion of ours will have it rejected. So this is all we call people to. That's why Ahmad Sunnah takes the middle course. That's why Allah refers to them as the middle, as, as the Ummah of Wasatha. And that's what we want to be. We want to be an Ummah that is generous, an Ummah that is kind, an Ummah that sets a good example, an Ummah that, that helps and, and, and is the leader in helping when disaster comes around the earth. That we should be the first there to, on the scene to help the people and to help people and to give da'wah in Allah for the sake of Allah to call people to Islam, to call people to the prestige Islam. Just as we see this beautiful and pure river here, that's how Islam is. Islam is flowing. Islam is purifying. Islam is spreading and you can't stop it. Even though the, 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 the pagans hate it, even though the disbelievers and atheists hate it, Islam is spreading like this pure river. Islam doesn't need me. Islam doesn't need you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has preserved his religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected his religion of Islam and completed his favor and his nirma upon it. 
So embrace the Nefer. The Nefer is based on Kitabila. Based on the Medhab of the Salam. Based on the Sunnah. Based on adhering strong to those principles no matter who is speaking against you. Even if, the, if, if many people are against you. Adhering to those principles. Stick with the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah. Stick with the books of Ahlul Sunnah. Stick with the Medhab of Ahlul Sunnah. That's what we're, 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 that's all we call to. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with khayyam. Forgive us for our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.